Bucks, and welcome back to Four Corners of the Galley. I'm your host, P. Bo, and you're joining me on a new show that I'm going to start watching. Um, it's called The Last OG, starring Mr. Tracy Morgan. I saw the saw the trailers for this a couple times while watching some basketball. Um, huge Tracy Morgan fan. I think he's hilarious as heck. And I uh, was ho- excited for the show because he also got Tiffany Haddish starring. So I said, let's see how it is. So here's my recap review for uh, episode one, Pilot. That's what it's called. All right. Let's kick this off. So we meet uh, Tracy Morgan, who's named Trey, and uh, basically he's kind of given a backstory on what is going on in his life, and he says he's having this bad dream, and he, uh, he says it all started when uh, on the night of American Idol uh, season one, the Justin and uh, Kelly famous episode. That, that seems like an eternity again. That's crazy. So Tracy's sitting there, and he's hanging out with his girl Shane. He's cooking, and you find out that he's this really good chef, and I, I got to say, the most funniest thing to me was that really, that wig they put on Tracy with the corn rolls. I don't know about that, Tracy. That, that, was, that looked pretty bad. <laughs> but that's besides the point. Um, so it starts off, and he's in the house, and he's watching, and then he kind of gets like a signal for his boy at the liquor store. And he's like, I got to go, and his, Shay's trying to stop him. What I really do like is Tiffany Haddish. She, uh, I, I didn't know what I was going to get out of this role. Uh, I think she's an amazing comedian, and Girl Trip was hilarious. And the night school trailer was, was okay, but... I was really hoping she would play like a different character, and I was really excited to see that she was playing a different character. She's playing more the refined lady that's that's moved on and past her her past, and is now established and has a great foundation. So I love this character she's playing. So we put that out there, and then uh, so he goes downstairs and he's about to pick up a package. He goes outside. He's talking with his boys, and um, you meet um, his boy. Um, I I'm only remembering his boy in the future name, which is the little guy's Bobby, but it's the older one and his uh, little brother Bobby and they're outside chilling and he's giving him a question about the Godfather and he's asking him uh, who would you be Vito or Michael and he's, it's kind of like a life lesson and showing stuff and he does that he goes over picks a package and bam he gets popped and he gets 15 years for whatever the heck he had so he goes away it's been an eternity basically and now he's back in Brooklyn and this is the premise of the story is a guy uh, pop gone for 15 years and comes back to a regenified Brooklyn. So this is what really got me excited because this part of the trailer was hilarious. So <laughs> Tracy Morgan gets off the bus and he's back in Brooklyn. He's like, Brooklyn, I'm back. I love some Tracy Morgan. I love that voice. Someone getting pregnant tonight, baby. <laughs> That's my really bad Tracy Morgan. All right, so he gets there and it's completely different. You got hipsters everywhere, people walking dogs. <laughs> he looks completely lost. I mean, talk about hilarious. <laughs> And then he's like, what the heck happened to Brooklyn? And the two girls in the background are like, Brooklyn? Oh, man, that, that sold me alone. So Tracy's lost. He cuts back to where he actually thinks he sees two young uh, two young thugs on the street. And he's like, all right, here's my moment. Now I can I can school these young, young dudes on how, I, how, how to not be it because I was just in the pen for 15. So he goes over and starts talking to them. And they're just looking up crazy. And then out of nowhere, one of them goes, um, we're just waiting here for our friend. And then this white girl pulls up with the hat backward. What up? And she's yelling at him. Tracy's in complete shock. Tracy's face when sells at home. He's like, what the? <laughs> Those two dudes go, oh, my God. <laughs> that was great. I love that whole moment. So he's back, and the first thing he wants to do is he wants to go see his girl, Shay. So he's all walking up, sees that she's moved on up. He's like, dang, he moved up like the Jeffersons. He sees his girl, and he's all infatuated, and then, bam, right there he gets hit with the stone bricks. He finds out that his girl Shay has moved on, is now married to white man, and it's or is with the white man, and it did get under his skin. I love a little kick of the trash can of the breakout. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So he has that. So here's the story. So I was wondering how it was really going to keep together because I was hoping this whole season wasn't just going to be him chasing after Shay the whole time, and it, that'd be like the love triangle. So. He goes, and he's depressed, and he meets up with his boy, and he goes to see, now he wants to go see his old boy uh, from the hood. I think his name is Bobby, too. I think it's Bo- Double Bobby, so that's what I think. i, I got to remember that. I'll get that on the next one. He goes to see his boy and finds out that his boy's died, and he's, like, really in shock now because everything has changed. He's he's lost his girl. Uh, Brooklyn is completely different, and now his boy died, and then he turns around and sees the younger brother who looks just like it. I love that moment, and Tracy just passes out. That was... That was absolutely hilarious. So, 
He gets reconfigured. He starts talking with his boy. His boy's like, well, you got to go after her. What do you think she's going to wait? And um, this is where it, it, the episode is really good. It started off a little sluggish, and I was really scared and like, man, this is not going to be as good. But I must admit, the more and more you get into it, it just kills you. He's just like Tracy Morgan. At first, you're like, man, this dude's a little annoying. And then you just keep watching him and listen to him, and it gets funnier and funnier. And you're like, I love this dude. Tracy is hilarious. I mean, that's just what it is. It's just... Once he gets in and you let him in, he, he's over. Tracy takes over and you're, you're in love with Tracy. So I really appreciated what he was doing and the humor he was bringing. I thought it was really fresh and funny. So he's doing that. Basically, in a nutshell, he's trying to get Shay back. So he goes and tries to make a big big to-do and go meet up with Shay when she's at some event. He goes and tries to uh, gets there and... He's trying to uh, call her out, and she's well-refined now and talking properly with the lady. He's like, what the heck? And so she's like, look, man, we're done. It's been 15 years. you got to go. And then they drop the, the thing that I was going to, that I was like, all right, now we got a season. And it shows that she's got two kids, twins, a boy and a girl, and he's just kind of giving that weird look. Like, what the? And he goes, and I love the joke. He's like, uh, no, that you and him did not make two, <laughs> two babies with the last name of Wesley and Snipes. That was a great line by Tracy. And uh, she goes to admit that, yeah, these are his kids, and now he's got a purpose. And that's what I love about it because now it gives Tracy the opportunity to show that he can refine himself and try to be a better person in this regenerified Brooklyn, and he has to deal with all the circumstances that go with it. But he's also supposed to be a really good chef, so let's see how that correlates while trying to be a father to two kids he didn't even know he had. So I really think this season and the way the show is going to go has got a lot of potential. Tiffany Hash looks hilarious. It looks like the uh, the boyfriend or husband is now going to be kind of involved with Tracy. So that would be really fun because Tracy's just trying to do good. So I'm really excited for what is in the future. I like that it was a good starting point. They didn't really give you much. They just kind of give you the backstory and then show you where we're going to go. And the trailer for the next for the whole season looked really funny. So I am I'm excited for that. So I definitely enjoy enjoy enjoyed this uh this pilot episode i thought it was way better than it was it was funnier and i'm glad it came out funny because i i was got a little nervous at the beginning the first 10 minutes it was really slow and i was pumped for this trailer i uh, pumped for this episode so yeah all right well that's only episode one and it was pilot it was short so there'll be more to come obviously but uh yeah Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining me on uh, the last OG episode one, the pilot. I don't know if you guys are watching Unsolved, but I got Unsolved right here. And I don't know if you're watching Atlanta, watching Atlanta right here. Got the whole seasons back and forth every episode. All right, till next time, guys. Good night, Ted.